I've just finished etching a plate, copper plate. This is the first state of this plate, there's plenty more to do, but I've done all the line etching on this plate and I wanted to show it because it has a technique called variable line etching where some of the lines have a deeper bite than others. So if you look at the plate, you'll see at the top there's a kind of a mountain range and at the bottom, the field. I stopped out the lines that are at the top after about 10 minutes and progressively worked down till the lines at the bottom had well over an hour and a half of etch time. The longer a line is exposed to the etch, the, the deeper the bite gets and the more ink that the line will catch. So if you want to have variable lines, you have to learn to work with stop out and multiple dips into the etch tank. In this video, I'm going to show a lot of magnified views of the depth of the bite under a digital microscope. To the surface of the plate under quite a heavy magnification here. And these are just lines. Some of them are cross hatching lines. Some are just straight up lines. And there's really no dimension to these lines. They're just on the same level as the ground itself, which is the way it should be prior to etching. Obviously, they're going to reflect more light and there's a light coming from the microscope. But we will look at these lines as they etch and get deeper and deeper. And you'll start seeing there will be a, an actual cut into the line. I thought it might be nice to see how that looks before we get going on this image. Put my gloves on. See if I can put my glasses on without them fogging up. Oh, fogging up. Well, we'll just have to deal with it. All right, let's go over to the acid bath. Take the lid off. And then just let it down into the acid. You got to make sure that it gets totally submerged, clip it on there, and then set your timer. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes and counting. We're gonna pull the plate, put it in the plate, take it to the sink. You wanna rinse off the tape, also the back of the plate. That's good. I'm just gonna use this same spot of newsprint just to kind of blot things a little bit. I really don't need my gloves for now. Right, that looks fairly dry. You could take a hair dryer to it. Let's take a look and see what it looks like under the microscope. 10 minutes. It looks slightly more dimensional, but not particularly. 10 minutes isn't a very long time in ferric chloride. The other thing that's happening here is that the light on the uh, microscope is really bright. And I don't really have a way to turn that down. But you should be able to see in some of these areas, there's a little bit more dimension. See, there's a line inside of that. This line right here is actually indicating the edge of the ground as if it's a little cliff. So um, you can see it again right here. There's my stop out. I go through and stop those lines out. I guess the other thing that I could have mentioned is that when you look at the plate at this point, the lines are no longer shiny on the plate. So we know that the copper has been bitten because the ferric chloride does some corrosion. Stop out city is done. I'm going to go put it back in the acid. And we'll 30 minutes, maybe we'll do 25. Set a timer for 25 minutes. Okay, 25 minutes and counting. All right, let's take a look at this and see what it looks like after 25. So that's a cumulative 35 minutes for the lines that were still open. And notice that the ferric chloride doesn't drain quite as fast because there's more of it in the lines now, but the ground is definitely holding up pretty well. Just drip it off of a corner. Let's rinse that off. And I can already tell just by looking at the lines that they're deeper. I'm going to use a hair dryer to dry it really quick. Okay, so all the water's off. Yeah, you can definitely see there's that little cliff edge there. That's definitely going to catch a lot of a lot more ink than what we had previously. 10 minutes and then 25 minutes added on top of that. I'm gonna do some stop out and then I'm going to do another, maybe another half hour for the really dark spots.
set a timer for 25 minutes. Okay, 25 minutes and counting. All right, that's another 25 minutes for a total of 10. 25 and 25, that's 60 minutes total then. I'll use the hair dryer again. Clearly. Yeah, it's just a lot more clear, right? Mm -hmm. So let's look at the uh, microscope. I think it's deeper. You can see those, those little cast shadows are a lot more obvious. All that stuff, deeper. So that's a cumulative 60 minutes. These would be even deeper if we had just put it in and left it for 60, because it takes time for the reaction to start again between the copper and the ferric chloride. When I say cumulative 60, it's less than an actual straight 60, but obviously we can't do straight 60, so. I'm putting it in for another half hour or so. Well, something took me away. Instead of another half hour, this turned into another hour and a half, in fact. Let's see how the ground held up for 90 minutes on that final etch. Actually looking pretty good. Stop out, looks like it held up. We'll rinse it off and take a look under the microscope. Now that I'm done etching, I'm going to remember to put the lid back on the etching take. blow dry this. Take the tape off the back. Definitely see a big difference from before. Oh, there's a good, good view of how deep these lines are. Check that out. Yeah. This is an additional 90 minutes. All right, so if you've got a lot of stop out on a plate, Gugon's not going to do a whole lot. you got to use alcohol first. This plate has a bunch of stop out on it. So we're going to spray some alcohol first. I'm going to take a shop rag. Remove the stop out first. Seems like if you use the metal polish to start breaking it down, the goo gone can kind of cut into it after that a lot easier. There's one thing I do not like about this ground. It's the thing that I love about this ground. It's very resilient. So it stands up in the etch for a long, long time. It sure is difficult to remove. Alright, the finest lines don't show a whole lot of depth. These are about the 30 minute lines there. You can definitely see the depth there. Or maybe these are the 30 minute lines. And these were the 60 minute lines up here. And as you get down further, you run into the really, really deep ones. All of these were like a little bit over an hour and a half. Even got a little bit of corrosion in there, it looks like. These are much deeper. This is without the ground on the plate.